And what I'm really trying to work here and feel here is the center of my back. You know, that mid back area. My lats are so big. My rear delts are so big. My traps are nice and full and well shaped. Phil seems to think that my middle back is small, but it's just encompassed with so much meat. I'd have to be skinless to get the deepest lines possible, but that's okay. We'll just make the middle bigger, right? But I made room for it. I made room in my programming to add more in for that. So here it is without further delay. Ooh. All right, it's one of those days. And that day happens to be Thursday, September 19th. We are in P5, as you can tell from the very bright overhead lights. Hence the cap. It's not just about swag today or looking like a bro. Do you think anybody wants a roundhouse kick to the face while I'm wearing these bad boys? Though the theme will be a little more bro-y today as I'm training back here. And I'm going to do some shit I used to really like that I do think contributed to my awesome back development, though it may go against some of the principles we use, but that is because I don't have better options. So we're just gonna grip and rip it today. I frankly, I, I need it. Very overstimulated, have a very uh, stressful dirt job, working in tight quarters with really big equipment. My neck hurts from doing this all day. Whew. So yeah, we're here to train back. It is a back specific day. If you watched the last episode, you'll know we're changing things up into a four day split for our national debut, which is pretty cool. Pushing for Nats, they got some monsters that compete at Nats. I've seen a few of them. We gotta go represent, you know, Primark style. So yeah, we're gonna start off with an underhand pull down. Classic, absolutely love it. Yet the variation is gonna be, or rather the difference is the mag grips. Mag grip handles are sweet. So instead of holding onto a straight bar where you're gonna be incorporating a lot of biceps, you get a 45 degree hand handle on the hands, which feels absolutely great. You're not incorporating as much of the biceps, gonna be way more of your forearms. It's just better transfer to the lats. So I've warmed up a little bit. I might warm up a little bit more and I'll catch you on the top set. All right, here we are. The uh, modified underhand pull down, or rather the mag grip pull down. We aren't going wide, we aren't going narrow. About shoulder width, the emphasis on the stretch at the top. And then three quarters to a half of the rep you wanna be completing with the torso at, at, uh, at 135 degrees back, <laughs> you know, or at a 45 to the whatever, you know, one or the other. You wanna be at half of a right angle with your torso to complete the rep. That way you'll really engage the back properly. Not much to, to say other than that. Feeling huge though. Uh, today was the first day on the new diet for the show. And I mean, look at what the extra carbs have already done. Very, very high food. Gonna be in place these first four weeks. Phil has a crazy plan and he said to me, well, we're gonna show up at 225 pounds. And to me, that's absolutely wild because, you know, last time I showed up around 210 pounds and I thought I looked great and I was big. I don't know if I can grow that fast. I really don't think I can, but you know what? It's only in these competition seasons that I am willing to put myself through this kind of thing and to be that hard on a diet like to try and eat that much food even the amount of effort that's required to do the kind of extreme things that I'm willing to do during a competition prep um, I don't want to do outside of competition season and hence my off seasons are lax you know it's about 70 percent 65 percent diet adherence I enjoy my life or try to rather with it being so busy and stuff but the only thing I give 100 percent consistency to year round is the intensity of my training and lo and behold I still make progress but it's times like these preps when you know I really force myself to make the push because this is when I work this is when I I'm a real bodybuilder the other times of the year man I'm just doing I'm just doing stuff I love you know I like to train I like to make improvements but getting ready to step on stage is a whole different game so I'm willing to do crazy shit just to let you guys know you'll probably see me big as fuck in the next three two or three weeks i mean it's already happening i'm i'm full as a house and all i've been doing is warming up so yeah i uh warmed up a couple times 180 felt real easy so i'm gonna set it on 220 try to grip it and rip it guys lord jesus don't let me tear nothing
so I think that was 10 reps. Actually, I put a catch weight on there too, so I was probably 225. You know, I bet if I looked back in the logs, that might be the best set of mag grip variant pull downs I've ever done. And that would make perfect sense because uh, I've only increased the cross sectional surface area of my muscles. And this is a movement pattern that I've done for years, so it's literally written into my brain. I'm not gonna degrade on my performance of this lift. So the system works, go figure, huh? That's pretty encouraging for the first set to be that good. Well, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, so the beauty of having a single a back day by itself is that I'm less fatigued for each one of the back movements. Therefore, I feel like I can add another in in the cycle of training. Also, with another day added in the split, the frequency comes down a little bit as I have three extra days before I repeat muscle groups of the body. So I'm gonna be doing four movements today. This will be number two. This is gonna be a seated row. So ideally, you split your back training into three different segments, pulling from below, pulling from in front and pulling from above. And as you've seen with all my training, that's simply how it's set up. I don't need to use free weights anymore. You know, I have the base, I have the foundations and machines, different seated variants have more stability. More stability increases mechanical tension, more mechanical tension, more growth stimulus. So I already did my pull from above. Now I'm gonna do a seated row. Now granted, this isn't gonna be as stable. My stability is gonna be in my legs, but that's okay. I, I think I can handle it. So what I'm gonna be doing on this as well is emphasizing the stretch going forward. And what I'm really trying to work here and feel here is the center of my back. You know, that mid back area, my lats are so big. My rear delts are so big. My traps are nice and full and well shaped. Phil seems to think that my middle back is small, but it's just encompassed with so much meat. I'd have to be skinless to get the deepest lines possible, but that's okay. We'll just make the middle bigger, right? But I made room for it. I made room in my programming to add more in for that. So here it is without further delay. We're gonna go nice and heavy. We're gonna stick to that 220 range, see what I can crank out here. Now, I'm gonna give it a little rest pause and I'm just gonna get nasty with it. I'm gonna kind of yank it around a little bit. Within reason, I'm not gonna give myself that full stretch. I don't wanna to put too much of a bind to stretch on that lower back. Take a little breather and I'm gonna branch warren this thing. Woo! Make myself tired for no reason, right? Nah, we're gonna hammer that body part. That's what we're gonna do. All counts as the same set. Don't give me no shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I kind of worked my magic and, you know, clinched my entire body to force out a couple more reps in a very swinging motion, but I think those extra few, plenty good enough. The mid back is numb. I notice I have three stages. I have no pump. The pump. I have pump. The pump. And then there's numb. And numb is beyond pump. Live with me if you want to come. And I know when a body part goes numb, that's a good sign. It just turned off. It's like, hey, we have no more motor units to recruit. We're done. So I'll call that a win. All right. So we did our pull from above, our pull from in front. Now we're gonna do our pull from below. Now, I walked up to this machine and did something intuitively with it, and that was to grab it on its horizontal handles and uh, felt great. Now, you've seen me do the low angle rows at the muscle with the hammer strength machine, where it's a full blown row. But since I've generated fatigue, and I've pulled through my elbows with two hard sets already. Now I'm gonna focus on what the key portion of this movement is, and that's gonna be scapular retraction. So the whole reason I'm using this, the whole reason I'm pulling from below is because I wanna work the upper back. So what I'm gonna be focusing on is just retracting my scapula in a little bit of elbow drive. If there's any more elbow drives, it's just gonna be digging into my lats and into my Terry's minor and major, which are already fried. So it's gonna be retracting the old scappy fill up our upper back, so let's do it. Up, up, big chest up. 
shrug it back. That's failure. Oh, that was really good. It didn't take a lot of weight to load on this machine. Um, I'm really eliminating the elbow drive, trying to just pull my shoulders back. Pull my shoulders back and contract that middle and upper back. And boy, does that feel fan motherfucking fantastic. All right, well, I'll surprise you on the next top set and show you what it is. Your boy is yoked. All right, so I keep saying that and it's freaking annoying. Because I don't know how to break the ice when I'm coming onto cam or how to string together sentences properly. Because I know that I'm on camera and I'm in a room talking to myself, but I'm trying to visualize talking to you guys and that we're friends and that we've been friends for a long time and that we believe in each other. So, uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to train our lower back without, um, without a hinging movement requiring tons of heavy loading. And what better than a nice back extension machine? This one's pretty cool. I wish it had a better setup, like maybe a bar in front of you that you could push against to help brace yourself. But I'm gonna do what I can to keep it stable, but these things are cool. It's great for this job right here. The last part of the back that we have left, that Christmas tree, baby. Yeah. Oh. It was on fire. I imagine that was probably the most retarded looking set you've ever seen, seeing how the camera's three foot from my head and all you get is just Lake Arthur aviation. Swinging back and forth. What a great workout. Now let's take my clothes off and look at my muscles.